Hi, the last time we spoke, I mentioned the things that I like and I forgot my wife. Hey, what about me? So in the interest of fair play and possible divorce, we're gonna sit down and get to know her better, let you guys know what her dislikes and likes are and the experiences she's had especially the experience that comes along with the carnival ride that is me. So, how are you doing today, Carol? Well, I'm glad to take the time, Dan. It's Dave. Yeah, right. Tell me a little bit about yourself. We've been married about 10 years, believe it. Have we really been married 10 years? Yeah. Um, tell me about the wedding. <laughs> the wedding. Um, the wedding was pretty funny. It was, as you tell people, a mob hit wedding. Uh, there were no witnesses. <sighs> Uh, we were in St. Pete yeah. on vacation, and we were discussing the option of getting married on the beach, and we went to the courthouse to get our marriage certificate, and the, um, after we got our certificate, we found out because we did not live in Florida, we're non-residents, we did not have to wait the three days that Florida residents have to wait. So we asked the uh, young girl there, who is the clerk, who could marry us. And she said she could, anybody who works for the county could marry us, uh, including herself. And I asked if she, if she could marry us right now. And she said she could. So we kind of looked at each other and said, do you want to get married now? Let's get married now. And we walked down the end of the hall, a cute little room and she opened her little binder and she put it on the little pedestal there and she said do you guys have rings and we said no and she said okay Other than the suffering. she said okay page 23 <laughs> and we got married you battled breast cancer and won would you mind sharing your story yes yeah april six years ago um it's <laughs> it was almost funny uh, you're considered high risk, a high risk cancer patient if you are, uh, well, if you're diagnosed with breast cancer before you're 50. I was diagnosed a month before I turned 50. I now uh, am five years cancer free. The one thing that I saw was how tough you were and how you handled it. I mean, you continued to work and you just kind of lived your life normal. Probably the saddest part of the whole thing was when you came up to me and wanted me to shave your head. You handed me my clippers and said, you know, I won't, will you shave my head? Tell me about your hobbies. My most top hobby is I have a 1966 Ford Mustang convertible um, that occasionally needs some uh, mechanical work done on it, which I do myself. And? Oh, yeah. Dave is a really good photographer. Okay. Nice job. Here you go. Thanks. So, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. It was great talking to you. It's Dave. Right. So now you've heard from her perspective. But now let's really dig deep and we'll talk to some other people that live in the house with her. Do you like mama? Come on, tell me. Come on, you gotta tell, you gotta give me something. Do you like mama? So what's it like living with Carol? So there you have it. That's me in a nutshell and my lovely wife. I thank you for spending the time to watch this. Signing off, this is Dan, ah, Dave Doolin, and we'll 
see you down the road.